Hello everyone, so today in this video I'm going to talk about euchromatin and heterochromatin. Well, euchromatin and heterochromatin are basically the components of DNA. Uh, one is the active component and one is the inactive component. But before talking in details, I just want to show you this picture. Well, this is an electron microscopic picture of a cell and what you are seeing here is the nucleus. And in this nucleus, this is the nuclear envelope and here inside this nucleus you can see this darkly stained portion and this lightly stained portion but this darkly stained and condensed portion are your heterochromatin and this lightly stained portion is euchromatin so now let's talk in details about them so heterochromatin is the inactive DNA and euchromatin is the active DNA that means that from the heterochromatin you cannot synthesize protein okay you cannot synthesize protein and from the euchromatin you are able to synthesize protein so this is the main functioning DNA euchromatin is the functioning and the active DNA and how this heterochromatin is formed it is formed by histone deacetylation and DNA methylation whereas euchromatin is formed by histone acetylation so in other words we can say that Histone acetylation activates the DNA and histone deacetylation inactivates the DNA. Uh, as you saw in the picture, uh, the heterochromatin is kind of condensed and the euchromatin is uncondensed. The heterochromatin stains deeply and euchromatin stains less deeply. Now, heterochromatin is again divided into two types. One is the constitutive and this constitutive form of heterochromatin is always condensed and it cannot be transcribed whereas the facultative form of heterochromatin is at times condensed and at other time it can be actively transcribed so from facultative type of heterochromatin sometime protein can be synthesized so this was all about heterochromatin and euchromatin hope this video helps you um please do like comment and share this video thank you